In this video, let's go through some parcel annotation tools to show you how to annotate bearings and distances and curve information and how to get them into tables in case you want to use that on your plans. What I have drawn here is a closed shape that has both the lines and curves, and then here I've got just a polyline of three segments. To annotate this, it is just a polyline. So to annotate it, I can go to the annotate tab and go to add labels. And go to the parcel labels and even though it's not a parcel you would use the parcel labels and i can do single or multiple i want to use multiple and do my lines this style and do my bearings my cords this style and i'm going to hit add and choose this one and i'm going to choose this one and notice that it annotated the bearing and distance using this style and here we did cord distance cord cord bearing cord distance and radius now, depending on what your deliverable and how complex this is, um, you may not be able to show your labels along the segments. They may overlap, segments might be too small for the scale, and so forth and so on. So you may want to use a table. And this is possible both with in this method and with the parcel. So let me go ahead and copy this polyline over. And we're going to make this into a parcel just so we'll have both. So I'm going to go to home. Parcel, parcel from objects, select said parcel or line, hit enter. I'm going to put it on that site and use this. So now we've got a parcel, so I'll annotate it using the exact same thing. And I just choose the parcel. And if I do it with this command, I'm able to choose whether to do it clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'll choose clockwise and hit enter. This one is the direction in which it was drawn. So if you didn't like it, you would have to flip things. So to show you that, every one of these annotations, you select them. You see that you've got a grip to allow you to slide it. And if I hover over this and hit right click, you can see that I can reverse the label. So I can change that direction. Okay, so hover over the grip, right click. I'm able to edit the properties, flip the label. So I can move it like that. And then I can also reverse the label. And if I reset it, you won't see anything. Well, let's see, it might yep, reset it back to its original position. So that's how you can manipulate these depending on what you're showing. And it's just as applicable over here. Same thing if it's on the parcel. The kicker with parcels, or one of the cool things about parcels, is that the parcel keeps track of all this. So if I come over here to my prospector, go to my site and parcels, and refresh this. I'll see here's my property one, property one. If I right click on this and go to its properties, under the analysis tab, I'm able to set the point of beginning. So if I say I want my point of beginning to be right here, and it's going clockwise, down here I have a legal description of it, a tabular legal description that I can select all of, or select it all, control C, and then come over here to Word, and paste it in. And you'll see that now I've got my bearings and my distances. So depending on what you're wanting to do, this may help you with writing a legal description or generating a report of your parcels. So however you want to do that. And if I change my point of beginning, I can do it object, update it, and so forth. You can do inverse and map check analysis changes these legals down here. So we went through how to label it and how to manipulate the labels. Now let's talk about how to put them in tables. If I go to Annotate tab, you see this Add Tables, Parcels, and I can choose whether to do lines, curves, or both. I add segments, which is everything, and areas. So let's just choose lines, and you'll get this dialog box. You can create a style if you don't have one. If you have your style, then you leave it there and you'll go down here and choose the tags you want to add to the table. So let's do this one. So we're going to choose these four lines and in this order, going clockwise, if I hit enter, it's going to convert the labels to tags. I'm going to hit convert and OK, and I'm going to place it right here. You'll notice that it added tags starting with one and going through four <clears throat> in this case. If it was numbered wrong, so let's do the same thing down here to the line. So let's add this. 
let's choose these three tags just so I can show you the renumbering convert okay put it right there so this started at number five five six seven and let's say that I messed up and the numbers were off if you go to your menu bar go to parcels add tables and renumber tags I like using this command versus the ribbon because it helps me get to the settings so if I go to the settings in here you will see your numbers so I could switch this back to number one and hit OK and now if I go back to that command and I click it it's gonna say there's a duplicate because there's one if there's the case I just hit it and I can rock on I've got another duplicate and another duplicate so I've just renumbered those and it updated the table accordingly. So that's how you can do that. The same is applicable for curves. You can create a curve table and set it beside it. And um, you can renumber these however you want to. So if you've got a, uh, an easement that has a whole bunch of segments that are very short, sometimes it's easier just to put in a table. And it's easier for us as a user to read through a table if we know this is in order to write the legal than it is to scroll along the line, in my opinion. That's it for creating a quick and dirty video on adding the annotations and converting them to tags and tables. If you like this, please click like. Feel free to subscribe.